that plays and is wishy washy. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> So as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, you already know what this video is going to be about. I'm not going to do too much talking in the intro. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Press that bell notification to be notified every time I upload a video. Yeah. And excuse my um nails. Like, I just this one just came off today. And this one came off today, too. Nah, but make sure y'all, before we start this video, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram because I've been giving it to the gram and I'm not done yet. Like... Hey, my lips just turning purple. I'm so sad. I want to quit smoking. Hey, but yeah, make sure y'all follow me on the gram at tiny with three y's underscore lens. No, I do, but I don't know. All right, so a lot of y'all basically been like, a lot of y'all basically been asking me to do a hygiene video, like my snap. Like I'll post like the YOLO thing. Y'all like do a hygiene video, you know, just to give some of y'all tips and stuff like that. And y'all was also saying like. I'm probably going to insert it if I can find it. But y'all was also saying, like, I need to do hygiene videos because these girls be stinking and all that. And I'm just like, <laughs> my bad. But, um, yeah, so, so basically, I'm going to tell y'all the most important thing. So, first thing first that y'all need to know is that good hygiene starts from within. So, like, if y'all know something called, like, your pH balance, me... I don't let my pH balance fall off track because one little slip up and you can start stinking, odors, all that, all that, mm -mm, we don't want that. So, it's always going to start in, like, from within. So, like, this is why I drink this kind of water. Like, this is clearly my favorite water. And I drink it because it's a good, it's on a good pH balance. It's above the pH balance. Like, it's like, it goes by neutral, then a bad one, and then it's a good one. And this is, like, a eight. And this water is, like, the best water. Any water you drink, I feel like you should always, like, check the pH balance. Like, the, um, like, it's it's a video on Instagram. I'm going to say Instagram. It's a video on YouTube. And it got, like, you could type anything, like, water pH strips. And it's going to tell you, like, which waters is good and which one is not. I always pay attention to that, like. And then another thing is, like, a lot of stuff that you, like, drink or eat could throw, up your, throw off your pH balance. But I don't even, I ain't even going to hold you. I'm not about to say anything about some. I watch my diet and my pH balance is on some. No, because I, I eat anything, it's just whatever. But when it comes down to water, I don't drink every single water. Like, I hate Poland spring water. I hate it. Water's have if you're a water drinker, then you know water really have a taste to it. But, yeah. So, like, your pH balance is, like, your number one. Soap, the soap you wash up with. I only use Dove body wash. Like, it's a difference. The bars is not really, like, they, they talk about how it's not considered, like, actual body wash. But... I use either I use the soap or the body wash, and they say how like the bar the, the bar is like it holds bacteria. Either way, you're still getting clean. I use I personally use only Dove, like if any it don't matter like the the scent or whatever. I only use Dove soap because my skin is sensitive, so whatever like if I use the soap, it either gonna dry my skin out or it's just like not gonna do what I needed to do. So I only use Dove soap and I use the body wash, and. A lot of soaps like Victoria's washing up with Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret body wash. That's not it because it's not good for your pH balance. Um, anything that have like perfume smell to it or like Bath and Body Works, Bad, bad Bath and Be wherever you get your body wash from, if it's other than like an actual soap brand, it don't have to be Dove. But if it's other than like actual soap brand, like Suave, those is good. But like if you use like stuff that smells like perfume, it's gonna throw off your pH balance. Um, bath bombs. They, if you use them a lot, it's going to throw your, like, your pH balance. You just got to know what to drink and stuff like that. And also, like, if you're not a big water drinker, you don't have to have, like, you don't have to drink gallons of water or water all the time just for your pH balance. Don't think that you're going to start drinking water and you're going to be smelling like clean. It's not how it works. Like, it's a process. You feel me? You got to cleanse your system and, like, get it going. Like, you got to take care of yourself, basically. Like, you could do whatever you want. Just make sure you don't throw up that pH balance. Like, and it, it's a lot of things that play along with a pH balance, like, drinking a lot of soda could possibly throw it off. Drinking the wrong juices could possibly throw it off. And, um, yeah, so it's a lot of things. Mm -mm, I'm in a video. Um, it's a lot of, basic, it's a lot of things that's, like, could play a part in, you know, pH balance. Like, it just starts from within. Then, like, when it comes to smelling good, lotions. 
I like this is like this lotion. Love pink, like Victoria's Secret. Yeah. Like these is from Pink. I love this. Is my favorite lotion. This is like my third bottle. Like anytime I get out the shower, I put lo like my body be still a little damp. I lotion my whole body with this, and then I take any spray like a mist. Any spray other than like an actual spray, like a mist, I put on my body over the lotion and they have you smelling so good. You can use anything. My favorite is this one. I like this one. And another one is my Zara's perfume. But like, smell it good. You could, don't think that when you spray a whole lot of perfume and use a whole, a whole lot of lotion that you're going to be smelling good. That is, is going to last for a little while. People are going to start smelling you. Like I said, it starts from within. And also hygiene with deodorant. You could, but I don't. With deodorant, like, I honestly. I don't use any deodorant because I like pay attention to like the, the good stuff. But this deodorant, I just got put onto this deodorant. And this deodorant, like, it smells so good and it works like a lot. Or I use, I don't really use Lady Speed Stick like that. I use it like rarely, like if I'm going somewhere, like dropping in my duffel. But other than that, I really don't use it. Oh, I showed y'all this one. And Degree. Degree, Dove. Degree, mm -hmm. Dove, and Shore are my favorite deodorant brands. Because they smell so good and they actually work and last long. And it protects from having like yellow. It makes you like making your white your white tees yellow. It, it, you don't got to worry about that. And when you wear black, you don't got to worry about the white. See, people, you feel know I me? Mean? Like, that's, you got to just pay attention to what you're doing, ladies, gentlemen. Okay. And when you take showers, make sure you take hot showers because heat and hot water and stuff like that, it kills the germs. Like, do not think that you're clean after taking oh, a cold shower. Take a cold shower, no, that's a dub. You have to cold showers are not really doing much for you. Like, you feel me? It's good to keep your skin plump, uh, uh, whatever the case may be, but you're not really clean. I love to wash up in scorching hot water. That's my preference because I just like it. But you don't have to have scorching hot water. You can at least have it warm, lukewarm. Like, just make sure it's valid because you want to clean the dirt off your skin, not, you know, have it building up. Wash your hair your hair and like hygiene is not only about like smell and Got stuff like teeth. that it, it it plays yeah. a part with like how you look as well like mm -hmm. if you're walking around looking a certain way people is mm -hmm. only gonna assume that you smell another mm -hmm. like if i walk around looking mm -hmm. busted or looking like bummy or whatever people's gonna assume like you feel me like mm. but if i walk around looking presentable then it's a difference like make sure you always keep your hair done as a female your nails hair and toes and everything should always Even be done. Even if you don't get them done, just make sure that they're, they're clean. clean. Yeah, and cut. Yeah, yeah, and stay. Keep up with your nails. And even with with males, like always make. I feel like oh, it's nothing wrong with guys getting their um nails done, like pet, like manicures, like with clear polish, because it's like you just showing that you want to be like clean. It's presentable, like you know, you don't want to be in nobody's face on your nigga or your female face, like. Oh my god! Like and no, like, like babe, for not for nothing, you gotta clean your nails, like yeah, that's, that's like. Medicine. It's a lot that plays along with, like, you don't have to, every drink you drink, you do not have to sit there and be like, oh, I'm going to see if it's worth my pH balance. No. Just check with your waters, because waters is the most important thing. That's the most thing that you'll really drink the most, you know? Um, and be like, oh, watch your diet, stuff like that. Like, you could do whatever you want. Just make sure you know, like, your But diet play a part, too. Yeah, it plays a part. Like, you can't just don't completely. Don't fast food. It's like, you can't, it's not like you completely just throw it to the side. Like, I'm just going to eat whatever, drink whatever, nah. Because it, play, it, it plays a big part. Like, and me, like I said, I'm heavy on my pH balance. I don't let nothing throw it off, because that's not it. And when you're on your period, females wash like you need to actually y'all have to actually wash like and also too when y'all done with y'all pads wrap it wrap oh, it in bro. a tissue you know why bitches be sticking too they don't change their pads yeah. but like when you take like first things first when you take off your when you're changing your pad and you're disposing it in a public place whether it's public or private i personally wrap mine in tissue then i wrap it in the wrapper that it comes with and then i put it in the garbage or sometimes i, I, I put it in yeah. tissue sometimes yeah. i even so like when i'm home like when i'm like back home and stuff like that even like no matter where i go after i wrap it in the original after i wrap it in the original plastic i also put it in a plastic bag and tie it and put it in the garbage like that and that's just me personally because i wouldn't want to look in my garbage and see a bloody pad or you know stuff like that and also too because the box of pads is advertising that you can keep a pad on for eight hours do not mean that you can Ew, sit around bitch. with a pad on for eight no. hours or six hours like change your pad every chance that you get you should change your pad you shouldn't and you shouldn't even wait till your pad is full Heavy, yeah. to feel like oh i gotta change my pad because then you're gonna be tight if it start leaking you, you that's embarrassing nobody want to deal with that so at the end of the day i feel like y'all should change your pads more conveniently like i'm not gonna sit here and be like every five minutes like that's that's od then that's how you're running out
that's another thing with like hygiene your period your menstrual cycle plays a big part in your hygiene like as if you feel me and a lot of people be wondering why i stink on my period why you stink on your period uh -uh. because you're not taking care of yourself with your period bonds you need to be taking showers from when you wake up go to sleep like because when you bleeding like no that first of all that's uncomfortable like we're already uncomfortable walking around you feel me like that but for you to not feel like, I feel like you should, me personally, when I'm, on, when I'm on my menstrual or whatever, I take showers, like, so, con like, I take, I'm, I'm gonna be true, like, I take them more than I take them, like, when I'm not on my period, like, saying if I, like, if I'm not, it's not, if I miss a shower in the morning, I'm like, you feel me, I'm still gonna take one at night, but when I'm on my period, I make sure, like, you, like, I don't like to be feeling uncomfortable and stuff like that, and also, like, when you get period in your, when you get, like, period blood in your clothes, you, if you want to take it out, Put peroxide. Oh, peroxide. Oh, soap called Zote. Z O T E. Yes, that they gets the, any stain. It bro. takes the blood right out anything, your clothes. Anything, me personally, anything, it's just a habit for me that anytime I get blood in like my my underwears or my clothes, I throw it in the garbage. I just that's just me personally, but not everybody is fortunate enough to be able to do that. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna come right back. Another thing is to basically like brush your teeth. When it comes out of brushing your teeth, let me let y'all know this now. You brush, you don't have to brush your teeth for one second, one minute, five seconds. T no, you're supposed to really brush your teeth for two minutes. Like if your teeth is yellow and you want to know why, like it's never again. Like no matter whatever whitening toothpaste you're buying is because you're not brushing your teeth long enough. Second of all, the main important thing when brushing your teeth, your tongue should always be brushed because when you stick your tongue out, your tongue should never be white. That's not cute. Nobody want to see that because that just shows that you have yesterday breath. Nobody want to smell that. Like, you feel me? Like, and if you know that your breath stink or your teeth is yellow or whatever the case may be, I feel like I, sh I don't suggest you to be in people's face like that. Like, hi. Oh, my God. Like, when you take pictures, you should be able to stick out your tongue. Like, like. Right. <laughs> but yeah, like flossing. I don't floss. I ain't gonna sit here and be like, oh, I floss. You don't have but to. You should floss. You should floss, but you don't have to. It's not something that's on some like. But if, if you got crooked teeth, you're supposed to floss. Yeah. I had braces. When I was in middle school, I had braces. So, yeah. But for the people with the crooked teeth, you know, sh stuff gets stuck in their food, make sure you floss. That goes older. Because, and make sure y'all always try to brush the back of y'all tongue. Because that's where, like, the breath really, like, that's where the, the back of your tongue is really where, like, you know, you wake up with morning breath, that's where it's coming from, like, you know? And, hold on, you know, thirsty. You snickers. Is... All right. Give me another minute, y'all. And another thing, my ladies out there with the skin marks and stuff like that, oh, yeah. I feel like, skin let me tell you. Dark marks? Yeah, like dark marks in your drawers and stuff like that. I feel like one. Wait, what? In your drawers? I'm talking about like females. Bitch, I thought you took them off for the face. I said skin marks, not skin marks. Oh. <laughs> That's why I'm like. But like when y'all take when y'all when I when y'all using a bathroom like if y'all taking a number two I I feel like y'all should always use wipes I feel like you should use wipes like even if even if you like not taking a number two like if you taking a number one like and if your hygiene is not really like you know up there you should use regular wipes but when you take a number two always make sure you use wipes like please because. Tissue do not do the job and do I'm not wipe watching. from back to front. You supposed to wipe front to back when you wipe them. I can't find her wipes right now, but cotton. These huggy wipes, like any All any wipes, any feminine wipes, wipes, like baby wipes. And when you use All when you wiping your nani, use feminine wipes. Don't use summer eve though. I don't suggest some summer eve because it's not good for your pH balance. Um, another thing, when it comes down to like shaving and stuff, I prefer to get a wax because that's what I get. Because shaving like gives you like razor bumps or sometimes like if you don't know how to shave properly, it'll give you like razor bumps or you'll get like scarring or whatever you do or how you do it. But I get a wax. Like I've shaved, like you feel me. But I get waxes now because that's what I prefer. And yeah, and like also always like if you want to wear dresses and skirts, 
make sure y'all shave y'all legs, y'all underarms, please, because it's not it's not given to have. Even if it's like a little bit, shave it off. It's not given to have like a little peach fuzz. It's not given like, and if you want to take pictures and all that, it's not given. You you wanna you wanna hear to deliver, right? So make sure you know what you gotta do. And yeah, when I say like when you wipe it, when I meant when I was like front to back, uh, -uh you know you not supposed to wipe back to front because that's dragging whatever bacteria back there into your nani, and you don't want that. And like yeast infections, me, I personally did. I personally never had a yeast infection. Um, but it's common for a lot of females to get one because I know like when you get pregnant, like you're gonna get one. But I don't know nothing about yeah. But I do know that yeast infections is caused from having stop wearing tight, tight clothes to where your your nani is suffocating, like like she gotta breathe, like you feel me? And wear cotton panties. Cotton panties is also good for your your nani, you feel me? Like you could pink panties, like I like they sell cotton panties and they sell regular. Like you don't always have to only wear cotton, but pink panties for cotton. Cotton is good for your, your vagina. Make sure you clean your ears. Make sure I when you take that. showers, you wash behind your ears and you clean inside your belly button because your belly button gets funky if you didn't know. Behind your ears gets funky and dirty if you didn't oh. know. And inside your ears, it's not cute to take headphones out or, you know, and yeah, it's full of earwax. Like, nobody want to see that. If I had a boyfriend, I know he wouldn't want to see it. If I, if I was, like, you feel me? Like, I wouldn't want to see that even when it comes out to niggas. Like, I don't want to see that. So, it's like... <laughs> skin is also, like, your face and, like, your, like, skin. But skincare, like, not, like, me press. All right, one thing about that, I don't, I don't lotion my body when I come out the shower to go to sleep because me personally, I feel like lotion fake make my skin feel sticky when I'm going to sleep. Like, I just like to be... My skin is naturally soft, so it's not going to, like, I'm dry. It's, like, for me, if you have dry skin, then... You know, do you lotion, stay moisturized, but I personally don't like lotioning when I get out the shower to go to bed because it be hot and then your body is sticky and all of that. Nah. Um, but what I was about to say, I was about to say something. Oh, your skin care. Skin care is also a part of hygiene. If you're walking around, if you know that you, like, want to do your makeup, make sure you take it off at night because you don't want to walk around with... Pe I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with acne, you feel me? Some people can't control it. Some people, that's, like, just their life, like, you know? I don't have the per perfect skin, but I know that I should take care of it if I wanted to get better. Um, Food, like I said, your diet plays a big role in a lot. Like, if you out here eating whatever, don't expect your face to look peachy cream unless your skin is just like that. Water, drink water. And <laughs> dark spots, I have dark spots, so I'm still working on, like, clearing them up. I don't know how to really word it, but, like, just always make sure that your your face is like you know you want it to at least be clear or some type of clean because your face your face plays a, a huge role in everything else. Nobody want to look at your face and it's like you know out of this world when you know it's something you can control. Don't take that the wrong way because y'all be beasting sometimes and I'm really trying to explain what I mean. Lips always make sure your lips is chapped as a female as a guy. Nobody want to see not chapped. It's not chapped. like. Make sure you... I didn't say that? You just said chat. Oh, make sure your lips is always moisturized. moisturized. There we go. Your lips should never be chapped. Nobody want to see nobody with crusty lips because I'm not kissing nobody if your mouth look crusty. And I wouldn't want nobody to kiss me if my mouth look crusty. Like, always make sure your lips is moisturized. Whether it's the females that like to wear Blister X, Comex, glossy lips, lipstick, just make sure they moisturize because that's not it. You feel me? That's not the way to go. Like... <laughs> Yeah, like, hey, I think I got all points, right? The most important ones. Oh, yeah, another thing, too, is to make sure, like, y'all y'all changing y'all bed sheets often. Like, I'm not talking, like, every three months, like, you feel me? Just make sure y'all changing them often yeah. because there's a lot of bacteria. People, sit on, people may be sitting on y'all beds with the outside clothes, which I don't suggest people to do because there's a lot of stuff you could be sitting on outside in the public on the trains and stuff and it's like the bed and also that takes like that that messes with your face as well they be saying silk pillows good for your hair because it don't take your edges and hair out but who really is buying it? who got money for silk pillows that's not me but like um yeah and like make sure y'all toes always done smell like it. you don't want your feet stink like Everything I told y'all from before plays a part with the smell and the thing. Nobody's gonna smell like roses. You should though. But you feel me? Everybody have their own natural scent, but you still gotta make sure you control it because when it's off, people won't be able to tell, and that's not cute. Self care plays a big part in hygiene as well. 
Like, make sure you, you know, take it, just take it care of yourself. Take time out for yourself. Like, because the more you do that, the more calm you'll be. You can't find yourself at peace if you, like, all over the place but don't have time for yourself. Make time for yourself because you can't expect to have your face all glowy, glowy from within, but you stressing. Like, you got to take time for yourself. Like, whether it's getting facials, massages, whatever. Take time for yourself. Pamper yourself. And you will blossom. Sex. Let me tell you something. Females that's, you know, having sex or whatever. My advice to you is always make sure you use the bathroom after you have sex. Because if your urine is burning, I'm pretty much sure you just got something. <laughs> what, bro? It's <laughs> sick. Why would you say it like that? Mm -hmm. After having sex, okay? And if you got people that shoot in a club up. Make sure you definitely clean Take after shower, because you know you don't want it to be sitting and marinating and then it's like bam 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 and then you sitting there like you feel me? You don't want to be confused. And also too, if you if you are having unprotected sex, I highly recommend to take a Plan B the day after. Matter of fact, I haven't seen on the dresser for the mm -hmm. highly recommend all females to go to OBGYN and get checked out. You feel me? I highly recommend to do it. You could do it. I feel like you could you could still get checked out before you having sex because you just want to, you know, keep up with yourself. But once you, like, have, if you haven't, but once you start having sex, I feel like going to the OBGYN, like, is, like, the best because, like, you could always keep on track if whatever you're doing, whatever, with whoever, you will know, like, at least where you got it from or this kind of case. Like, you just want to always make sure you good like because you could think that you good but if you go to the doctor next to you know they're gonna tell you like oh you know you got this time through you saying it like hmm i thought i was nah you feel me it, it plays a part so you can have a good ph balance uh -uh, but still always go to the doctor and get checked out respect for yourself as well females because if you don't have respect for yourself you can't expect nobody to respect you and that's also going to play a part with in like hygiene or being like you know maturing because it's like the way you represent yourself is truly, like, how people would take it. So, if you're walking outside, sloppy, you know, you could be the most glamorous. People's only going to respect you for how you, how they see, how you let yourself be presented to them. So, you feel me? You can have a good hygiene, but, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot that plays in this wishy-washy. Hey, hey, hey. So, I hope my video was useful. I hope my friends in the background and, you know, that even stepped in my video was useful. I hope that, like, if you feel like anything I gave, like, good tips to y'all was good, put it in the comments. Like, if you're going to try them out or whatever case may be, let me know. Put them in the comment section. And you feel me? If there's any other videos that y'all want me to do, make sure y'all put them in the comment section as well. Check the description for my Instagram because I'm blowing it up on the gram. And we're on the road to 20K. We're only going up from here, gang. Feel what I'm saying? Yeah. This bitch is mad rude. Mad rude. My friends is so disrespectful. No, I'm friends. I didn't even do nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. Friend.